So another disease I'm going to talk to you guys about is called macular degeneration. So macular degeneration is an age-related disease. Um, what it does is it affects the central vision, which is called our macula. And us as practitioners, what we're looking at is trying to make sure that things are not changing underneath the retina, okay? Uh, so there's two stages. There's dry and there's wet. So in the dry stage, you'll get these little fat deposits, okay? And as you can see here, you have these little fat deposits over here. It, it, it kind of bumps up like this, okay? So when I'm looking at this in my exam lane, I'm looking at it face on at the very top here. So I can't really see anything what's happening here. However, I may be, be able to identify that these are little waste products. However, the thing that this OCT does that I can't see is it detects any abnormal blood vessels that are happening underneath here. Because when you have macular degeneration and the dry stage goes into the wet, then that becomes very visually significant. And it's, it is very hard to reverse and improve your vision there. So I'm going to show you an example. This is a, a, the macula. I, I have these, uh, there's these little bumps here. Those are drusen. However, I don't see it looks pretty normal to me, but the fact that this has this angiography feature, um, when I go to these certain layers, you can see the blood vessels. And here's a perfect example. When I see over here, this is happening underneath. Um, and here's a little neovascular membrane. So think of it as like a cobweb of blood vessels. They're very weak. They're very fragile and they can um, rupture at any moment and cause blood to, to leak out, which will cause vision to go down. And this is what will be irreversible most of the time. So this feature I think is very beneficial for people with macular degeneration because it helps us detect early signs or if there are the, any bad blood vessels.